All right, hey guys, we're gonna look at some Green Lantern figures. Actually, they're not Green Lantern figures. Okay, so a long time ago, there was this toy company. I guess it was 2010, because I pretend like these were Green Lantern from the year 3010, which is exactly a thousand years in the future. Uh, I was cleaning out my office that I haven't used in a long time, I guess since 3010, and um, back when I used to actually print things. And this box, I was gonna go ahead and put everything in a bag, but I'm like, you know what? I'm not gonna reuse this box. I'm just gonna put it out in the storage building as well. Let's take a look on what's on the inside. So we have my Green Lanterns. Now, the reason I think these like Green Lantern figures are because, well, they have that green symbol on them. Now, I know it's some kind of cartoon called Ben 10. Um, I've seen it maybe one time. I thought it was ridiculously boring and stupid. It's just not for me. Sorry, I know you're probably watching this and thinking, that's the greatest thing ever. Well, okay, you enjoy it then. For me, these look like Green Lanterns from different planets. And I love the the way they're made, the way they look. Um, the limited articulation doesn't really bother me. So this is the first one I just happened to pick up. Not my favorite, but I do like turtles. And even though he's got a yellow uniform on, he's still part of the Green Lantern Corps. Or I know it's Corps. Green Lantern Corps. Uh, it looks like he's articulated. Oh, yeah, he is. Barely. Okay, so he's got articulation in his knee. And other than that, it's just pretty much 5 POA. I always thought this was pretty cool. He has a tail somewhere, so we'll wait and get him later. I like this one a lot. Oh, now that I'm like messing with these, I don't want to put them out in the building. These are just so creative. I like how they're designed so interestingly. This looks like a Tron figure, sort of. This was always really, really cool, and I like him a lot. Um, Again, I don't know what his name is, but he's just like a crystal guy to me. Uh, what does that say? Are his screws like rusted? They look a little rusted. I don't know why they'd be rusted. Let's just see humidity in my house. I mean, see here he's in more crystalline form. So I can pretend like, you know, he goes more crystalline. All right, then we got this guy that looks a lot like Blue Beetle. It's like, he looks more like he's a Blue Beetle Green Lantern. And then we got, I think this is supposed to be the same guy, like the blue and the fiery form of him. But I don't know. I don't know anything about these. I think he looks really cool too. One of my favorites, of course, is a tiger guy. Does he not have a tail? Maybe he doesn't have a tail. I don't know. You know, I gotta get rid of stuff out of my house because I got too much stuff. I need to focus on transformers and uh, this looks really cool though. It's like a snail shell. Uh, these are set, they're so interesting the way they made them look. I like the creativity in these. A spider a gorilla. <laughs> I love it. It's like a spider monkey, but a gorilla. Oh man. Now that I'm opening these, I want to just keep them because they're so creative and they're so different. I know that whoever's watching this is going to associate this with a stupid, uh, sorry, with the kids' cartoon. I mean, it's not my thing. I just like the way these are designed. Oh yeah, that's cool. That's right. He has a brain inside. I wonder why he looks so much more detailed. I like how he looks, uh, he looks like a Borg and an insect. Here's the kid and I think his name is Ben 10. Why is his face smudged? Anyway, uh -oh, that means one of these things is probably deteriorating or his paint's coming off of him. But I pretend, like, I pretend like this is like Hal Jordan's great, 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 great grandson basically in the future. Or it could be like a kid of Hal Jordan that got put into the future, kind of like Superboy. Here's that same dude. It looks a little more different. I always like this guy too. I think I actually know his name. I think it's Forearms. Because it was like, you know, like your forearm. They had some of the names I could remember them kind of because they had like a good play on words. So I have two different ones. Oh, actually, it's almost the same thing. It probably one of them came in like a multi pack or something. It's got the same. Oh, not the same number. So this one's 61708 and this one's 20408. Almost the same number. I, I couldn't tell you the difference. But, oh man, look at this one. Oh, I always thought this was so cool looking. I, I don't, man, these are too cool to just put away. I just like them because I, I've always liked the aliens. When I was a kid, my two favorite things in Star Wars, of course, I like Star Wars. Um, here's a Green Lantern, for instance. He's not from the year 3020 or 3010. It'd be 3020 now. Oh, now I know what it is. See the rusty 
screws over here because, yeah, you know, that happens to metal that's crappy metal. Great. And that makes me want to have to wash these. That means I have to draw them. That means I can't put them in the building. All right, here's that spider monkey's tail. Wait, so is the spider gorilla, like, related to the spider monkey? Are they, um, like, an evolution form or something? Which is technically a metamorphosis, by the way. So I wonder if these are related. I don't know. Yeah, this guy's pretty cool. I think I had another version of him, like a clear one. Oh, there's a blue wing guy. Definitely blue beetle looking. Oh, I like this one because he's Egyptian looking. Uh oh. And it's kind of stiff because I haven't moved these things in forever. They've just been sitting up there, obviously rusting from all the humidity in the house. This one looks like another one, sort of. Man, these are just too cool. Oh man, I hate clear plastic over time. This one's gotten sticky. I don't think there's anything you could do about it. Once they start getting sticky, it's over. And here's the other version of Ben 10. I don't know what the difference is. It's like one's older maybe, or is it maybe they're brothers? But I guess in my universe, they could be like Green Lantern's great grandsons. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Cause there's one, he's already in the bottom of the pile. Oh, period. So I think they're both Ben 10. I think they're two different, like maybe this is season one and season two or something. Yeah, I don't know. There's a Green Lantern. Lantern. There's a... Green Lantern John. I don't say Jones. I can't remember what his last name was. Now he's not a Green Lantern. I'm pretending he's a Manhunter in the future. The Manhunters were robots um, for, uh, like before the Green Lantern Corps. The uh, Guardians tried to create... You know, a superhero force. And uh, the Manhunters, but they failed. They became too legalistic in their ruling that they wanted to rid the world of evil. So they everybody's evil, so everybody got to go. That's pretty cool. Now this is from those dragons. But it was green, so I had to put it in there. Kind of like it was like a energy weapon. I think his name is Cannonball. I could be wrong, but I'm just saying... Some of these look kind of familiar. This is definitely not from either one of those. This is from um, Titan AE or After Earth. But he's wearing green, so I figured it'd be in the Green Lantern Corp. And this is one of my favorite Green Lanterns. And here's a Hal Jordan Green Lantern. And I have a whole basket full of Green Lantern stuff, but I'm trying to get all these out. Now that I see that, I'm like, eh, I'm gonna throw this box away. Here's some stickers. So, let me put it over there. That's cool. It's like a wolf. Now they had a white hourglass in some of them. I don't know. I don't know the significance of the white ones, but there are white lanterns. So I pretend like they're like they've evolved or something into a higher, um, like in the lantern thing. Okay, so it's kind of hard to explain. But the white lanterns are like. I haven't read the Green Lantern Corps when it was the brightest day and darkest nights era, but I kind of get a gist of it that the white lanterns and the the black lanterns and the uh, the sapphires and all those other ones. This is Batman as Green Lantern. Uh, John Kilowog. Ooh. Sometimes when plastic gets old, it starts getting that, that stuff on it. Yeah, these are really definitely cool. Yeah, I don't know who this is at all. Alright, and then we got one more. So, if you are a, uh, what is it, these uh, Ben 10 person let me know in the comments below what are the white ones for i'm just gonna try to grab one real quick but I, oh it was the werewolf guy so what are the white ones for are they a different class are they um i knew he had a, a enemy or some kind of friend or an enemy i don't know which one it is kevin 11 i think because i remember they were like ben 10 kevin 11 i was like oh so is there like delve 12 or is it like mine nine why do I hear an alarm in the background? Well, anyway, let me know what you think. Have a good day. I gotta go figure out what that alarm is.